Will he do it again? Coming out of uh, a hiatus or um, a break from Warcraft and qualifying right away. His natural talent is so high. <clears throat> he pulled a major upset. What was it? One month ago? Two months ago? Did you notice he won against Law Lyot, which I was blown really? away by? Yeah, he, on Echo Isles. And he played very unusual. He played very, very passively. He gave the Night Elf basically all the space that he wanted, but Law Lyot expected pressure. Law Lyot got the Naga, positioned himself offensively on the map, and then noticed that the No Unit was coming. So then he retreated, and all that time was used by HLA to creep up himself and get a powerful Lich. And then in the end, in the late game, there was only a Naga. And then there was a big attack with Frostworms, 80 supply, and Skadoosh, Skadoosh, nuke damage into the main, and he managed to win that. Of course, that was across continents, across servers, high ping. But yeah, taking a game of Law Light in and of itself, a big achievement, I would say. True that. Let's recap the tournament of the two until this very stage. Hate, Love, Anger eliminated... Uh, wait a second. We have to go very far down in this bracket. Eliminated uh, Prista, um, Wood, Kampftiger. That's his uh, very unknown names here. TTT eliminated Wida, uh, Wiener from readmore.de, RVS and Zokul. Especially the win against RVS is surprising to me. So let's see what this Night Elf is capable of doing. Can he eliminate Hate Love Anger? And is he aware with Hate Love Anger's playstyle versus Night Elf? Yeah, I myself am absolutely not familiar with this guy, so I'm gonna be interested to see. Or did I maybe play him? Uh, this name, Tick Trick Track, it does sound slightly familiar. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, Anyways, we're gonna have the Demon Hunter first. There's no Warden gonna be this time. Obviously, this is Last Refuge. This is a horrible Warden map. Unless, of course, you're Law Light. He makes it work against Human as well and <laughs> makes it look super overpowered, as he always does, or at least oftentimes does. HLA, you remember last year at the WCA Pro Qualifier, but I remember him like saying more than once that he thinks the best strategy against Night Elf is double crypt Ghoul Rush. And I'm like, what? Are you, are, you, are you shitting me right now? And he's like, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. You don't have to win. You force them into a certain position, and then you make them uncomfortable, and you can always transition into gargoyles later. And I'm like, yeah. But if he knows it's coming, and he has huntresses, and you get no kills, and I mean, he's going to delay his tech, but your tech is going to be slow. And he's, the boy's like, no, no, I, I think it's really good. And I'm like, all right, man. You're the professor. I guess you're right. Then... Uh, fast forward until like two months ago, I asked him, All right, HLA, how are you doing? Do you still like the double crypt ghouls? And he's like, Nah, man, it's horrible. <laughs> and I'm like, What? But you said it was so great before. And he was like, Yeah, uh, turns out I was wrong. Yeah, in theory, he has uh, great strategies, but of course, they are not uh, working all the time. But he beat Sonic with two crypts on TM. He beat Sonic uh, on. What was, what was the second map? I don't remember. But his Mass Ghouls Destroyer Push strategy is really unique, really uncommon, and really strong. With a Frenzy Push, with the Destroyers, with the Orb, you can do so much damage. And it's very fast, too, because uh, you almost entirely skip on uh, Dryads, uh, on, on Fiends. Yeah. So let's see if we're going to see this again. Of course, the level 3 Demon, always the X Factor in this matchup. If you don't have him when that push hits... That is really bad. Ideally, you would like to have level 3 demon when your second hero is coming, but a good undead player usually does not give you that space. But as I said before, against Law Light, HLA didn't care about keeping the Demon Hunter down. Didn't care about it at all. He just crept on himself and let the Night Elf do whatever the hell he wanted. Did he switch up his playstyle again? I said before, he went uh, cri uh, double crypt ghouls a lot of times, but he doesn't do that anymore. By the way, Demon Hunter may be running into a surround. Uh, not quite. Did he change it up again? Is he going to be more aggressive? He changed from super aggression into extreme passiveness. Where is he standing currently? We're going to see about that. Once again, the loser goes home. Dreams crushed. The winner advances to are the under qualifier. Attack. Will be the 10th player in this tournament out of 16. Halo Langer is getting some experience here. This is when of illusion. Well, not that great, I guess, compared to the replenishment potion and the watch awards. He is hiding one ghoul there. Oh, nice, nice little trick by Halo Langer. I didn't even know you could 
get in there. I, it looks like the demon who can't reach. That's pretty cool. That's a, that's a trick to write down every hundred player here on our stream. Which, by the way, more than 1,600 people viewing. Thank you all for tuning in. Indeed, very nice uh, following here. Add back to Warcraft once again to enjoy this Warcraft on beautiful Sunday afternoons. So Hunter's Hall for TTT is in time. Graveyard for Hate Love Anger as well. This is not Gargs. There's no second script. This is exactly what we pointed out. Um, the mass ghouls destroy a push most likely and he didn't lose a ghoul so far so that's good the demon hunter is still level one that's good as well death knight of the course down to level attack. one as well but uh, he will find the time to get some levels at least he constantly tracks the progress of the undead of, of, of the night elf with his illusions which is nice and what's the hero here? That's the big question. Night Elves deviate. Rudan loves the Naga. Rich nowadays goes for the Naga as well, but really prefers the Panda. And it is the Naga Sea Witch. Okay. I think versus a lot of ghouls, the Panda is definitely better. But maybe he thinks, okay, against seven, eight ghouls, I can't really do that. I can't really pull that off. Can he get some pickups with uh, the ghouls against the archers? It's easily, uh, they are easily killable. It's a good amount of HP. He wants to go for this around now, but fails attack. both. And only one burn coming out here. Oh, the Naga in trouble! Oh, TTT sleeping on the job. That was the only supposed thing he was supposed to look at. He gives over the TP. Is he going to use it? Yes, he is. He lost one archer though as well on the way out. I guess he got. A ghoul in return, but that's obviously not a good trade. He actually lost two archers and the TP for two ghouls, but now he has to be really careful. If he walks into a surround again, he most likely loses this game. True that, no town portal can cost you game, so always carry one when you leave your base in a situation, like, uh, a situation like this. For Love Angle, we see the Lich as a second hero, Null Overseer is dead and almost level 3 on the death knight that is a nice progress and ttt he has to do something he knows about that he's creeping the mercenary cam and that's a lot of hp uh, xp of course robe of the magi for the naga is nice and the top of intelligence so plus seven damage death knight is coming in for the arrest maybe he can steal the high priest not going for it though uh, just wants to take a look. All right, what are you doing? If you can delay him, that's even better. The Lich is coming out right now. He would love to level that guy up. Has incredible intelligence gain. So the higher the level you get, the more mana for Nova and the more right clicks. We all know the Lich is also a very significant right click uh, hero with the orb in his inventory. And speaking of which, tier 3 not far away at all for the undead. And the Knight of still has to wait only halfway there as yeah we're used to seeing from this matchup pretty much standard so far but the tp and the archer losses they were painful hey, of anger is creeping his safe spot he doesn't want to go out to the merc camp or uh, the shop as long as he doesn't have the orb so he can always do this laboratory thing here or the magi is still alive and when, will he be lucky once again with that mana stone or will we see something else here about to witness he's leaving the Lich alone for a second, gets the orb now, that makes things a lot easier. But he shares experience with the Death Knight of course to get to level 3, there we go, Ooh. and he gets the Mana Stone again! Very nice item. Oftentimes knights don't really expect uh, a call to be coming out late in the fight, they burn the DK all the time and see, okay, he's dry, now I can really commit for hero kills, and then suddenly there comes a Mana Potion, and then you totally overcommitted onto the Lich or something. That is something we oftentimes see out of Night Elves if they don't take a look at the inventory, which honestly they don't always do. Hey, Love Anger again with the Tome of Experience on his Lich. Level two and a half after this creep spot, the Naga third, and he is such a lucky boy getting this. And Potion of wow. Invulnerability, also a nice item. This guy yeah. has the RNGs on his side today. Great against the Naga. Against the Panda, there's almost no hero kill potential for the Night Elf, but with the Naga on the battlefield the for him, the Yonder does have to be careful about his heroes. He gets the heal scroll now on his Naga, and the Ghoul Destroyer push is inbound. Yeah, Frenzy is ready. But Destroyer upgrade is ready as well, but TTT sees him coming. He knows what's going on, but he loses the Ogre Magi. Big potion of mana! Oh, oh, oh. My lord! Tom of experience! No. <laughs> no. Uses his uh, nuke to get rid of the demon hunter right away. Lots of misses here coming in. 
but not too much. Fork Lightning against the Ghouls, of course, a nice choice. But two bears seem to be trapped. This is all looking very, very good for Hate Love Anger. Can he somehow fight out of this level 3 Naga? Why did he Nova the Archer, though? That was a curious choice. The bears remain alive, but they're dying as well. Coil finishes one off almost there, and the greater mana has been used by the DK, still having the mana stone in his inventory. Gets another bear, only 39 supply remaining for TTT. But seems like HLA does not want to follow him into the moon wells. He's only sitting at 42 himself. So supply wise, pretty damn even. Mana burns coming out one after the other. Demon Hunter in a bit of trouble. Where is the staff? There's no staff! Holy crap, that was dangerous. The there spell comes, but not in range. Rejuvenation and moon juice will be used to heal up his Demon Hunter. This one has to carry here. Plus 9 damage. He is packing a punch. No mana anymore on the Undead Heroes, no items anymore on the Undead Heroes, so Hail of Anger is retreating. His first push with Ghouls and Destroyers did not work. It Well, it did work, he got some uh, nice kills here. But I think it's okay, what you want to do with the Ghouls is, uh, you have a lot of them, and in the late game you don't really want to have them, so we want to trade with them as early and as favorably as possible, and he got quite a few kills with the Ghouls. He's fighting again now in the middle of the map, gets rid of a Dryad right away, but a lot of bears, and he doesn't really have much magic damage at all, only a single destroyer and he's not going for the Frostworm tech, which of course takes a lot of time, but once you got it, it's extremely powerful against bears. Now he's probably thinking to himself, alright, you're preferring a lot of bears here. Do I still go for worms or is it too late? And it looks like he feels that it might be too late. He's going for abominations. Uh, these are of course nice blockers. The other side, TTT. Desperation move. Expansion in the upper left. Can he buy the time to make it work? I highly doubt it, but let's see. He eliminated RVS and Zokul on its way into this final round. Getting two wolves right. for free. Ah, oh, no, only one actually, but the coil as well. Ah, uh, the double slow is gonna be enough. Alright, next destroyer coming in here as well. Now we have two in the air, only three bears. Where's the Cull Nova? There's no mana actually at all, and the DK in trouble! Heal Sword has to be used to save him. Is it gonna be enough? The double slow is coming out, and no! He loses his first hero, and the Demon remains alive at the side. Now going to the merchant, buying an invulnerability. HLA underestimating the hero focus potential, has to pop his invul on the ledge, loses this. Use the Dark Ritual on the Fiend, but he doesn't have enough mana for a Nova still. So the Demon Hunter is going to be getting away. I guess he gets a bear here. So TTT loses a lot of supply. He kills the DK, though. Usually that is curtains. Yeah. But HLA is still in a decent position. But, but that the was the coming up. Perfect, exactly. That was the perfect timing for a move like this. So, okay, I can't really win this fight, but I need to kill a hero to buy the time. Without a Death Knight, you can't get out on the map. You can't move that fast as uh, you would love to. You don't have the heal from the coil. You don't have the hero kill potential with the coil. And so he has to wait a long, long time. Almost two minutes to get his hero back. At the same time, the expansion is up. Flute of Accuracy, though. RNG is once again very helpful for the German undead. Will it be the second undead player? in the qualifier or the sixth night elf. Europe is the continent of night elf. That's for sure. But no one expected TTT to make it this far and to make it to the qualifier. Hate Love Anger scouts this though. This ghoul will die. The hero levels on uh, the underdog. Level 3.7 and almost level 4. And then we have evasion level 2, which is a nice thing to have. And it's going to be stealing the invul here as well. Just hit level 4 by killing that ghoul. And he gets the invul. And we saw before, HLA needs to be careful about his heroes as well. Demon Hunter being slowed, but there's no frost from here. But the block is coming out from the skeleton. Can he keep it up? No. Nope. He can't fight he this. He has to retreat immediately. 55 food for Hate Love Anger. Massive economy advantage for TTT. He's in, upkeep, in, in no upkeep. And he has the expansion running for him. Heal scroll for the undead. The Death Knight is back. Two abominations. Fiends, no There's, upgrades. By the way, no invul on the Naga, no staff, no TP. This Naga is extremely vulnerable. Is she gonna be out of position once? If she is, and HLA realizes she falls apart like paper. Lich out of mana though to start this fight. 
can always eat stuff. But we will see the fight. The Death Knight is joining the fray right here, right now. Is this the end for one of the two players? Bear is down immediately, but the focus on the Destroyer is pretty damn good. Focus on the Demon Hunter as well. He wants to get rid of a hero here. Lich is standing fairly strong. Mana burn again. No mana anymore on the Death Knight, but there is the Mana Stone that can be used, as well as a potion of healing. Flex Bear down. Double level up. Level 4. The next Dark Ritual gives him a lot of mana. Forest Troll Berserker being bought by TTT. Only a few Dryads remaining. The Abominations will stand uh, very, very strong. Level 4 on the Naga here as well. Nova on the Berserker getting rid of it. And this all of a sudden looks real, really, really good for Hate of Anger. He's going for the expansion. Is this the ticket for him? Will he join Happy as the Undead Scourge? And certainly looking very good for him. TTT going for a desperate attempt but it's already too late man the damage with the flute so high there's repair coming in though all right here we go demon hunter what can he do mana burn decal out of mana but here comes the mana stone suddenly tons of mana again and the dryads taking so much damage now the naga might be in trouble here comes the fog lightning she also still has the mana stone but still there's quite a bit of mana on her abomination will not fall now the demon hunter in trouble redrew all the time nice to spell immediately but the bears trickling in one after the other are easily being dealt with and the Death Knight are far up front. Oh, now the Naga, it's time for her to... No, not die! Invo Potion being transferred. Well done by TTT. Okay, staying alive here. There, there was some repair on the Tree of Life, but it will shatter into pieces in just a second. The Naga far too far up front, but he saves her once again. Can the Lich do the final right kick? The bears are dying again. First one down. No mana on the undead heroes. Oh, well, there's a Nova, by the way. It's coming, and a Fork Lightning. It's only on the Death Knight. Here comes the Nova, but the Lich is kind of exposed. Heavy right clicks from the Demon Hunter. No coil anymore. Will he lose this? No, there was some healing. And he wants this hero so bad, right clicking only on the Lich, but there's a statue to heal up and get the mana, the death, uh, the demon hunter is dead, and this must be it, it is it, Hate Love Anger doing it again, into the qualifier. Alright, we have our second player joining Thomas G, HLA, underestimating the hero focus potential there, almost made it look a little too close for comfort, but I think in the end, still, very strong performance and he most of the time looked very much so in control of this game. That's uh, correct, except this one uh, little fight there. The next game is going to be Cash versus Abrams.